a rare look at the devastation left behind after a Boko Haram attack. More than half of Konduga town was destroyed. This school was torched as the Islamist militants went on the rampage. Eyewitnesses said they came in a long convoy of 4 by 4 vehicles and were well armed. This man says the soldiers and the local vigilante group tried but were overpowered as the Boko Haram fighters had more sophisticated weapons. The attack lasted more than three hours. The next day, 39 people were buried in a mass grave. They'd either been shot or had had their throats slit. Konduga is less than 30 kilometers from Maiduguri city, and that's where the Nigerian military has its base for what's supposed to be a massive operation against the Islamist militants. So once again, the question's being asked, why did it take so many hours for the military to respond to a Boko Haram attack? Visiting the scene, the governor of the state said the army was doing its best under difficult circumstances, but he made it clear the war is not being won. But you and I know that the Boko Haram are better. But you and I know that Boko Haram are better armed and better motivated. There is a need for additional troops and support for the military. People have fled Konduga, not knowing when the militants will strike again. They burnt our homes. We're left with nothing. We're helpless, says this woman. Now soldiers are patrolling a ghost town. Will Ross, BBC News, Lagos.